Hello everyone, that's tuning into today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. So day 10 takes us to the 23rd of August and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS ECM ensembles. Maybe one, two, around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. The next four weeks gets us uh, into the 1st half of September. And as I'm quite late recording this video, just our 6pm on the 13th of August, uh, we will have a look at 12Z as well, or as much as it, uh, uh, or as much of it as we can. Uh, so I think we'll be able to share everything other than the uh, ECM, and uh, I'll get on with that for you uh, right now. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you're having a lovely Wednesday. We're going to begin in a tropical and subtropical Atlantic, three interest areas. So, uh, well, two interest areas of tropical storm. We've got a uh, yellow extra spare and just bare. And there we've got Tropical Storm Erin, just there. So, uh, that disturbance too, a 0% chance of site confirmation in the next uh, seven days. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, that one is disturbance one, with a 20% chance of site confirmation in the next seven days in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. That could be one to keep an eye on. But definitely all eyes really focus on Tropical Storm Erin giving maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour with, with a minimum set pressure of 1,004 millibars. Clicking on Erin. And going here, actually, we'll go uh, there first. Uh, so clicking on Erin and going there, we can see that uh, Erin is forecast to become a hurricane by the end of week, by Friday. And then becoming a major hurricane to the uh, east of the Dominican Republic as we get through into uh, Sunday and through to the start of uh, next week, where it will be to the east of the Bahamas. By that point, is uh, Erin going to give uh, a major storm to the Bahamas? Have to wait and see what happens after uh, that. That gets us to uh, um, uh, ATM next Monday. Right, so if we go back to discussion... We can see that uh, Erin is predicted to uh, be powering up to uh, maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour uh, by the beginning of uh, next week. That's a major Category 3 hurricane. Um, so, very powerful storm. That one's going to be maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. So, gusts were in excess of that. Uh, of course, uh, lots pretty serious, lots of pretty serious storm, and again, it's quite early on in the season to be getting such a powerful storm, we've still got the peak of season, September and October uh, to go, so we shall see how things develop with Erin and uh, future trouble storms and hurricanes. Coming back to home, it's a much quieter to see, so uh, this latest win from that from Earth, Northschool.net, showing low pressure in the Atlantic and just down the southwest of the country as well. Just started drawing some slightly less hot air into uh, the west, but still very hot, both southerly southeasters across the more east region. I think the temperature comes down a bit tomorrow, uh, but will still be very warm and hot, and then starts to uh, lift up again, if I think, later in the week. Central England temperature is now sitting at 17.6. That's nearly 2 degrees above the 61 to 99 average. It's provisional to the uh, 12th of August. It follows on from June at 17, July at 18.4, turning into a long, hot summer. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks were Belfast today. The red line is, a, uh, is referred to your upper air temperature actual Belfast. And we're starting off above average, of course, with the upper air temperatures at the moment very warm to hot. And then we're going to see the uh, upper air temperature coming down, reverting closer to average into the last week of August. Precipitation wise, well, there will be some precipitation to come over the uh, next week. Not all that much, but mind it's Belfast, so very exposed to the Atlantic, of course. Uh, does turn a good deal wetter, though, into the uh, last week of the month. If we have a look at somewhere like Islington down in London, well, it's the same trend for temperature, just hotter to start off with, but uh, then coming down into the last week of the month and you know it's more pronounced in terms of drier weather through like the first week and then it does turn more unsettled though into the second week not as wet of course in london as it will be belfast but the trend for both uh, cities actually or both places actually um you know quite similar really 
Temperature normally six five days to the 18th of August, coming out uh, above average. 10 to 14 day, a little bit above average yourself, actually slightly below average though, further north. There's a bit of a cool down on off of them into the uh, final week of the month. Precipitation anomalies, so it's seven days, 20th of August, drier than normal, 8 to 14 day, reverts closer to average. Right, let's start going from chart day to end. Uh, well, ACS UK, mate, you're early, it's looking for, well, let's have a midnight, because, uh, of course, the trials are coming out right now. So this will be midnight. UK, mate, you're early, it's looking for midnight on Saturday, high and dry, under a big area of high pressure, mostly dry. Very warm to hot. And we go beyond that through next week. High pressure just easing a bit further into us, drawing up this southerly, south beastly flow. The hot conditions uh, continue. By the middle of next week, low pressure starts to meander in from off the Atlantic. That could bring some heavy downpours and some thunder in from the west, perhaps. We'll see. And then we've got Icon again, high and dry for the weekend. Looks like it'll be another barbecue weekend. Lots of warm, very warm or hot weather through the weekend. Into the next week, high, pres high pressure just eases northwards a little bit. Starts to allow some lower pressure to begin to develop to the south into the southwest again. That might threaten some downpours perhaps by the middle of next week. The KMA uh, looking like that. Again, high pressure anchored and rooted over the country through the weekend into the first half of next week. Then begins to weaken a bit as lower pressure heads in from off the Atlantic briefly around the 21st. That could bring some unsettled conditions. Then the high pressure is bridging back in again, uh, if anything, as we move up towards uh, day 10. That's actually the bank holiday weekend there. Uh, bank holiday Monday, I should say. Uh, 25th of August, under high pressure, a range of air in to the south of Greenland and Iceland. GFS midnight run, high and dry for week 10, mostly dry, sunny and hot. That high pressure maintains into the beginning of next week as well. Gradually later next week, the high begins to weaken with these little areas of low pressure developing both to the west and also to the south and southeast of the ridge. Could start to generate some downpours and some thunderstorms, maybe second half of the next week. Day 10, low pressures to the south of Greenland and Iceland. That's the remains of the uh, area. High pressure still trying to hang on from the Azores up towards Scandinavia there. And then the high pressure still sits over and to the east of the country as we get to the end of the GFS run. So tonight, August. So it never really breaks down. We do turn a bit more showery there for a while. Um, but then high pressure's back again by uh, the end of that year, best run. What about 6 cent in comparison? Well, obviously, it's all much of much just a weekend. Next week, high pressure in control over weekend. In next week, very warm to hot. Low pressure then starts trying to move up to the south later next week. And we pull in a bit of a cooler and fresher northeasterly flow as well later next week. That should freshen things up, if nothing else. But still, a lot of dry weather. There's no sign of high pressure really fundamentally breaking down here so uh beyond day 10 well the remains of airing close to iceland uh, we're still under this area of high pressure That's bank holiday weekend looking mostly dry and fine very warm down in the south as well and uh, beyond that well the high pressure ridge just continues really up to the end of the gfs uh six said run so as i say there's Interruptions are slightly more mixed conditions, slightly more showery conditions, but there's no sort of a fundamental breakdown, I don't think, yet of this area of high pressure, at least until the end of August. So we know September, especially the first half of it, can be pro to um, strong areas of high pressure. I'd be at all surprised if we actually see the high pressure strengthen again through the first week to 10 days of September. Of course, that's speculative, and we'll see. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Ah, drop a comment, let's know. Anything about this, all of our videos, content, etc., etc. Don't get to friends about guys. So thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, we have high pressure over country. Lots of dry, fine, warm, very warm conditions over weekend, lasting into next week as well. Just gradually weakening that ridge and uh, area of high pressure by around daylight. Some low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Those are the remains of Erin 
just there. So, Virginia is slightly different. What I would suspect would happen with this is that Aaron would probably um, amalgamate or merge with that loan. If we could go on beyond day 10, which we can't. Um, and uh, I expect Virginia yeah, would actually turn very unsettled, maybe, over bank holiday weekend. So, Virginia is something slightly different compared to most of the other model output with uh, less of a high pressure influence. And then uh, the ECM trials there, uh, midnight, I should say. It looks like that. Can't show the ECM trials there today, fortunately. Uh, 1,030 mil of high, uh, high pressure over the country on Saturday. Still there on Sunday. Still there on Bernie. Still there on Tuesday. Um, so, you know, it's not until about Wednesday. The high pressure just eases a bit further north. Some lower pressure starting to come up from the south. Might threaten a few showers of further storms. And we should bring in a cooler uh, north north easterly by the end of next week so that cools things down anyway and uh, there's uh, airing just there in the north land it's also a very powerful storm uh doesn't it that's day 10 transient uh, ridge of high pressure um beyond that oh, bank holiday weekend we're in a west sea flow so high pressure south low pressure to the north most unsettled weather in the north therefore main drive down the south and then look at this high pressure back in again uh, by months then, that guess is 28th of August. We're back under high pressure yet again. Uh, this is the precipitation forecast based on that at ECM run from Tometia.com. So, a few showers coming down through by heat at the moment. Not many, most places will be uh, dry. Most dry conditions, of course, last into the weekend. Now, early next week, you might start to generate some heavy showers and thunderstorms, though, down in the south around the middle part of the week. So, that's one to keep an eye on. Then it turns a bit cooler uh, by day 10 and still with some showers in the east. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Guess is 23rd of August. 22 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to the west, low pressure to the east. So a slightly cooler and fresher northeasterly flow. A bit showery, but that does include patrol of the operational room. We've got 12 with high pressure between Iceland and Scotland. Again, bringing the wind from uh, the north. It should be fresher anyway. Low pressure down across France. Could threaten some thunderstorms into the south. Got another 12, though, but look really unsettled. So, low pressure in from the Atlantic and across northern Europe. High pressure got up towards Greenland. Uh, so, that will be a much more unsettled. And then we've got five with uh, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. That brings the driest, warmest weather into the south. Most unsettled conditions are up in the north with that in two weeks' time. Oops. Two weeks' time. These are the options that we've got. And it gets us to the 28th of August. 90 members of the East Ham Ensemble still with low pressure in the North Atlantic to the north and the west of Europe. We've got 13 with high pressure to the west of the UK and Ireland, low pressure down across France. That's going to bring in like a east or a north easterly flow. We've got uh, 12 with high pressure south, low pressure to the north, flat and westerly. And we've got 7 with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. So, a range of options. It's also a little bit more mixed with quite a few of those uh, options, I guess, at day 10 and day 14. We may be in We may be in for a change for the last week of August, but uh, I'm going to think high pressure is going to still be quite influential, even if it's a bit more mixed and not entirely you know, settled, as it is at the moment, right, generally. But uh, I just got a feeling that uh, high pressure... Going to be still uh, quite quite influential, even to the end of the month. But as I say, that is speculative. Talking of perspective, uh, CFS V2 beats a 500 millibar height and orange. So break it down into wheat pairs. The first wheat pair from 13th, 19th of August. High pressure over the top of the country, mostly dry, very warm to hot. And wheat two will be the 20th, 26th of August. Again, high pressure dominates the weather. Over and to the north of the country. Week 3 <laughs> will be 27th of August to the 2nd of September. Lower pressure around Iceland. Higher pressure just slipping south. was going into more of a westerly flow. And then finally, week 4. Much more unsettled. So 3rd to the 9th of August. So it's been quite consistent about... Uh, um, uh, to the 9th of September, I should say. And the CFS has been quite consistent about this at the moment, really, given it's four weeks away. Every day we keep seeing this uh, change to low pressure and much more unsettled and cooling conditions through the first week to 10 days or so of September. But it's a long way off and very unreliable, therefore. Um, now, let's wait and see.
but maybe early September will yield some useful rainfall. Right, well, let's quick go through the trails there before we go. So you will start off with UK Met Euro Run, go to 72 hours and able to hover. So high and dry were established on Saturday. Very warm, top conditions. Those five conditions lasting into the early part of next week before lower pressure begins to move back to the south. I've got an area flow to the west as well. Still very warm at the middle of next week, but probably starting to wobble the atmosphere and turn uh, just a bit more unsettled and showery, maybe some thunder even. But, uh, lightning. Um, who sung that? Thunder, lightning, will you love me? Right, someone know in the comments. Someone know in the comments who sang that. Um, high pressure, oh, I'm so sorry, I went off on a tangent. Nobody does it like that. But high pressure, oh, top of the country on Saturday with icon gradually easing. High pressure northwards allowing lower pressure, not necessarily low pressure, but lower pressure to revert to both west and the south. That could generate some heavy showers and thunderstorms by the middle of next week. GFS 12Z looks like that. So, uh, again, high and dry from the early part of next week. Then what looks a bit like a fungi trough to the south of the east. Later next week, bring some cooler and fresher air in from the west and might generate some fun storms as well. Uh, Erin is around uh, Iceland by the Bank Holiday Weekend as an area of low pressure, pushing high pressure to the south. So we're going to a westerly flow, high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north there into the closing days of uh, August. Just hints of being a bit cooler and a bit more showering, I think. And then the last one we could look at is uh, the GM, with high pressure again over the top of the country. Very warm to hot through the weekend into next week as well. Gradually next week, high pressure weakens, lower pressure comes in from and again. As we saw with the midnight run, the ECM looks quite a lot more unsettled with more low pressure coming in later uh, next week, around days 8, 9, 10. I mean, that would probably be very wet for the south, bringing a lot of heavy rain into the south, but synoptically, it doesn't look well supported by the other models, and certainly a lot cooler as well, with wind switching a route to a north-easterly uh, direction. So a cool and wet start to the bank holiday weekend there. That gets Saturday, 23rd of August. So maybe, maybe it'll turn uh, more unsettled than we think next week. But again, it's only for Gem uh, going for that more unsettled option. Most of the other model output seems to be more set on high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, keeping mainly dry weather going uh, for the south. But as ever, time will tell. We'll keep you updated. OK, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're open for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this. All my videos and content. Don't forget to turn those back down as well as and get them to subscribe to show to everyone for doing that tomorrow we're going to have six, we're going to have six um, UK weather forecast I'll be back tomorrow uh, I took last night off and we're going to have a 10 to 14 day as well so keep checking back to the channel for more for this one though that's all for now thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening and bye for now